This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says, what is the area of the rectangle? Again, on the actual ASVAB and PyCat, you're not given a reference sheet or a calculator. So in addition to being able to perform these calculations by hand, you also have to commit some of these basic formulas to memory at some point. The formula to calculate the area of a rectangle is simply going to be length times width. We can see the length of this rectangle is two and a half and its width is one and three fourths. So let's go ahead and plug those values in. This becomes two and one half times one and three fourths. Now to multiply mixed numbers, the easiest way to do that is to convert these to improper fractions. So let's convert two and one half to an improper fraction. I know its denominator is gonna be two. Uh, to find its numerator, we do two times two, which is four plus one, which is five. So five over two is the same thing as two and one half. Let's convert the mixed number one and three fourths to an improper fraction. Again, our denominator of four is not gonna change. To find the numerator, we do one times four, which is four plus three, which is seven. So let me move this down here so it's very clear. This becomes five over two times seven over four. When you multiply fractions, you just multiply straight across. Uh, so in other words, we're gonna do five times seven, which is 35 over two times four, which is eight. All right, so now the only thing we have left to do is convert this improper fraction back to a mixed number. And we do that via long division. Again, I could read this as 35 divided by eight. How many times does eight go into 35 without going over? Well, eight times four is 32. 35 minus uh, 32 is gonna be three. And just like that, we have enough information to write our mixed number. This four is gonna be our whole number. This remainder of three is gonna be our numerator. And this eight is gonna be our denominator. So in other words, uh, 35 over eight is the same thing as four and three eighths. So that is the area of this rectangle. You can see that that is gonna be answer choice D, of course.